in today's episode, we are going to be seeing if two stocks, um, the first one is Amazon. We're going to be seeing if that one has the potential to go to $2,600. And then we're going to see if Apple, our second stock, can go to uh, over 200 All right, so we're going to minimize myself right here. Whoa. Sorry about that. I'm going to minimize myself. All righty. Bam, bam, bam. All right. Let's just throw myself off in a corner here. Perfect. All right. So the first stock here, let's go Amazon. A -M -A -Z -N. Perfect. Um. So a couple of days ago, they released, or some someone released a um, article stating that Amazon has the potential to go to 2600, 2600 and it will put the stock over 1.3 trillion. Um, so let's see if this has the potential here. So this is the day chart. And it's up, you know, almost 2% today. In the past 180 days, let's see what this stock is up. I bet it's something crazy. Um, let's see. That's just, so the past 180 days, the stock's up 33%. So, on um, the next year, I believe that this stock, has the power to push up that much. Because this is the largest and one of the fastest growing companies out there. And this this is competitors for everyone. I don't care if you're a, you know, a farmer. They have wholesale foods now. I don't care if you're a small business owner. They had they sell everything on that website, and that's gonna really um, set them apart here. Once set them apart um, in the future and right now, because many companies that didn't follow um, Amazon's path are either out of business or doing really bad. Uh, think of Barnes and Noble um, back in you know the late 90s, Amazon, you know, tried to do a deal with Barnes & Noble, and they pretty much laughed at them. The same thing goes with Toys R Us. You know, as you guys know, Toys R Us is out of business, and Amazon is thriving and has not been better. So I think that this stock um, could easily push up to, you know, that to 2600 or that, you know, around $3,000 a share for sure. I really do. Um, you know, many early investors, let's see what, uh, let's, why don't we get rid of these big ones here or these other ones? Um, and just do uh, this one chart up here. All right. So many early investors, actually, they made, I know it's easy to say, but they made um, a boatload of money. They made millions, some of these guys. I mean, imagine buying a stock from at a hundred or $1 and 31 cents a share. Imagine that, you know, that is crazy. Right when it opened, you know, and look, the first day the stock was um, uh, public. Let's see, hold on. I'm sure it's hard to see. Well, um, well, anyway, so the first day the stock was public, the first three days, it was it had red days. And it slowly started catching momentum. Now look at it today. Has not 
stopped, and I don't think it won't stop. It's going to come, I bet you the stock's going to hit 2000 two here right before uh, um, December, maybe uh, early January, around there. But this stock is thriving. It's crazy. It honestly is. So the next stock here we're going to be talking about is Apple. And I'm sure everyone knows Apple. It has the same, you know, the same idea as Amazon, but a little different. Let's see um, what you could have bought this stock at. Um, so anywhere from, it's hard to see, but anywhere from a dollar seventy-five to seventy-five cents, and now it's now it's a hundred and ninety, you know, four dollars a share. This is it's crazy though. Let's see what the low is. I didn't realize how far back this stock went. Twenty-six cents. You guys could have bought Apple at. You, you know, but it's hard to say, you know, um, uh, if you would have held it the whole time. But if you did, you know, hypothetic, hy hypothetically speaking, you know, it would have been a, it definitely would have been a winner. But, you know, I've made some trades on this in the past. I've made a swing trade on... Um, Bought right here, sold at the um, first red day. What? So about right here, and that was about a 15% winner. I think it was more along the lines of 12, but same idea. So this stock, I think, is gonna hit 200 before the year ends too. You know, nothing's gonna stop these stocks, and nothing's gonna stop these companies. They're some of the largest in the world. They're not going anywhere, and no one can compete with them. All right, so that's it, though. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please sure to hit the subscribe button and let me know what you guys think about these trading videos. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out. I love you. Goodbye.